Hello everyone, it's me, Aunt Sarah Bell, and I have another story time for you. Today in our story time, we're gonna read from one of my favorite authors. So if I had to tell you, it would be Adam um, Rubin who wrote Dragons Love Tacos and Dragons Love Tacos 2, Secret Pizza Party, and the newest book, High Five, that some of you might already have a copy of. Um, and then, would be David Shannon. He's like my second favorite author. And then following that is Mo Willems. So those are my top three authors. I love and enjoy all of the books that they've all written. Um, and I hope that you might enjoy them too. So we're gonna read a book by David Shannon. It's called The Rain Came Down. And this is a cause and effect book. And what's great about this book is something happens that we don't have control of, like the weather, and then everybody kind of scrambles or does something reactive instead of proactive. So if you're reading this book at home with an older student, this is a wonderful conversation piece to talk about choosing your actions and being proactive versus being reactive and some of the consequences or things that happen. So if you have an older child, you can either talk through or they, if they're able to write on their own, they can write out what happened and then what, what that caused and kind of do like a chain web of cause and effect. For those of you who might be too young, you can also talk about if then. So like if they do this, then this can happen. Those kinds of simple cause and effects will really help kids understand the outcomes of their actions, and especially during this time, might be really helpful for you. Okay, so got that learning lesson connection moment kind of out of the way. And today I have a different unicorn, because I know Logan will ask. It's Pixie. She has um, some rainbow hooves and a rainbow horn, some rainbow ears, and a rainbow mane and tail. Logan, I'm sure you appreciate that. Everyone else, if you love unicorns like me, you'll enjoy this as well. Grab your favorite squishy or stuffy to snuggle with as we read this story. Find some place comfy to sit or maybe even lay down. You can lay down and read books, although sometimes it makes me sleepy. And get ready to read The Rain Came Down by David Shannon. One drop of rain. I always have trouble with this page on this book. If you notice, when I hold my book, I always hold it and start with the front cover and open it up. On Saturday morning, the rain came down. It made the chickens squawk. Squawk! Can you squawk like a chicken? The cat yowled, yowl at the chickens because they squawked. And the, dark, the dog barked at the cat. And still, the rain came down. The man yelled at the dog and woke the baby. Wah! Stop all that yelling, shouted the man's wife. The dog barked louder. Woo, 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 woo. And still, the rain came down. A policeman heard the noise and stopped to see what was wrong. His car was blocking traffic and half a block away, a woman squirmed in the back of the taxi. So there's the dog, he's barking at the cat who was yowling at the chickens and the chickens all started because the rain came down and this police officer heard all the commotion and is knocking on their door. Remember, the woman is in the taxi because she's stuck behind the police officer's car. Hurry up or I'll miss my plane, she told the taxi driver. So he started honking his horn. 
the truck driver in front of him got mad and started honking back. I have tomatoes to deliver, he shouted. So he must be trucking across some tomatoes. Tomatoes are yummy. They can make lots of yummy foods like ketchup, salsa, spaghetti sauce, all kinds of other things that I'm forgetting right now because that's how brains work. <laughs> all right, back to our story. So the truck driver is honking too, and so is the taxi cab driver. The ice cream man heard all the honking and turned up the music on his van. So here's the ice cream man, and he's trying to get people to buy his ice cream, so he plays music. You may have seen that before. I don't know that it's really the season, but in the story it is. Jingle a jangle when his music, slap it a slap when his windshield wipers, slap it a slap. And still the rain came down. The owner of the beauty parlor came out to see what the fuss was about. She bumped into the barber coming out of the barber shop and they began to argue. Up on his ladder, the painter grumbled, I can't paint in the rain. And he started to climb down and bonked the barber in the head with his can of paint. Now, all three of them were arguing. Next, the baker stepped out of his bakery. My roof is leaking and my cakes are getting wet, he moaned. So he opened his umbrella and poked the pizza man in the nose. So they joined in all the bickering too. Bickering means like fighting or arguing. A boy chased a small boat down the stream in the gutter. He splashed a little girl, splash, and she began to cry. Oh, ah! and still the rain came down. The grocery man stomped out on the sidewalk and yelled, where is that delivery truck? I need my tomatoes. He ran into a lady coming out of the clothing store and knocked her boxes into the fruit stand. <sighs> Oranges, apples, and lemons bounced down the sidewalk and still the rain came down. I love this aerial view because you can see what's going on on the street. So here's the police car. Um, we have another car, we have the ice cream truck, the truck of tomatoes, and the taxi cab. We have the hairstylist, the <clears throat> barber, the painter, the baker, the pizza man, um, a person who's leaning up against this tree trying to find shelter from the rain, the woman who dropped her packages, the groceries, fruit stand, the little boy, with the boat and the police officer. The police officer walked back to his car. What's all this ruckus about? He asked. The whole block was honking, yelling, bickering, and barking. And then, the rain stopped. And so did the noise. The sun came out and the air smelled fresh and sweet. Everything shimmered and a rainbow stretched across the rooftops. Look for that beautiful rainbow. It's much too nice of a day to be arguing, said the baker. I have cakes to bake and I have pizzas to make, said the pizza maker. I could use a shave while my building dries, said the painter to the barber and they went inside. And the police officer said, everything looks A-OK -okay to me. A-OK -okay here to me. Look, he has rainbows in his sunglasses. And he drove off in his car. So he thought it was a big problem because there was so much ruckus. And then all of the ruckus just stopped. The woman in the taxi decided she had time to have her hair done before her trip and she went into the beauty parlor. So the lady with the boxes got into the taxi and went home. The truck driver told the grocer, I have your tomatoes. Wonderful, said the grocer, but first I have to pick up this fruit. The little girl and boy helped him 
So he bought each of them ice cream cones and the ice cream man gave each of them an extra scoop because it was such a nice day. And then the man, his wife, and their baby had a picnic together in their backyard while the dog and the cat and the chickens slept in the warm afternoon sun. At the end of The Rain Came Down. What's great about this story is something that we couldn't control, like the rain started and it caused people to kind of be really reactive and not think about the consequences or what would happen based on what they did. So instead of being reactive, you can take some time and think through what you're about to do and look for kindness instead. And there's no better symbol of kindness than a rainbow. So even when we're in places where we're uncertain about how long the rain might last or just how we're going to find a way to endure whatever storm life brings us, look for rainbows. Rainbows only really occur in nature when a storm of rain has happened. So they're in those harder times. Find the rainbow of your situation and find ways to spread kindness. If you notice that after all the chaos and turmoil that happened because of the rain, people found ways to be kind. They found creative ways to support each other's businesses and to encourage them to do their jobs. And that made the police officer's job a lot easier because he didn't have to manage any of the fighting. I'm sure you grown-ups can relate to the police officer right now. But also, we might have to change some of our plans, kind of like the woman who was going on a trip. She decided to get her hair done instead first and so that provided this other woman an opportunity to have the taxi cab service. Let's talk about some more kindness. The grocer had all of that fruit that was on the ground and the kids, instead of just walking by, stopped and offered to help. Because of that, their kindness was rewarded with ice cream. Who doesn't love to be rewarded with ice cream, right? Or something sweet. And of course, don't forget to find ways to connect with nature and your loved ones, because that's really important in this time. I know those were parts of the book, but not particularly what David Shannon meant when he wrote The Rain Came Down, but it's particularly poignant for this time of our lives and this season that we're all in. We're all in this together. Find ways for you, um, whether you're a child or an adult, to connect with other people that you love and just support the work that they're doing, whether that be schoolwork or um, working remotely or finding creative ways for people who have face-to-face -face contact to work without it. I hope you enjoyed this story time with Aunt Sarah Bell. I know I did. I look forward to these each time um, making them and I'm glad you enjoy them. I appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.